Got another video request, and if you uh, have a video request, you just need some kind of guidance, go to assholeconsulting.com, and I, the world's only professional asshole, will yell and scream and curse at you for a price. So, man, we, uh, we have a <coughs> writer, listener, reviewer, Ronald, and Ronald writes, Dear Captain slash Uncle slash Asshole, Long-time listener, first-time writer, Tom Likas. I'm 26 years old. Father is black, mother is Asian. Was raised by my mother's family. Dad is kind of a fuck-up drugs and alcohol and hyper-liberal, but at least he stuck around as a provider and moved us out of the ghetto at a very young age. All right, yeah, yeah. Silver lining to every cloud. I got bad grades throughout high school due to skipping school to play computer games and being generally disgusted with the rat race social popularity contest as well as the bullshit academic environment. I wasn't a troublemaker, just an introverted geek. Luckily, I did barely enough to graduate. After high school, I, to appease my parents, I worked in fast food for six months at a grocery store for another six months. I still together? Well, this family dad. Uh, did your mom remarried? I'm just trying to follow through. Uh, absolutely hated, fucking loathed the low-minded, shitty people I worked with. Walked out on both jobs. Well, dude, what do you think you're going to get when you fucking barely get through with high school? I mean, that's the way to... I, don't, I, I understand why it's boring and it sucks, okay? I understand, but that's the world. That's how the world... These are the rules. These are the rules. So you can... You, that, that ain't going to change. That is not going to change. At the same time, I did love our arts at a community college. Hated it. Wanted to fucking body slam my mediocre idiot professors into the podiums, but ended up failing dropping out instead. My only saving grace in life was that I always had an interest in talent and computers. I also seemed good-natured, innocent, was articulate, well-spoken, and a good writer. But mur the secretly, he wanted to murder your, uh, your professors. <laughs> I used to be called to help write. Uh, I eat bullshit resumes and references for friends, acquaintances, and relatives. All right, all right. At age of 19, this natural talent for... Talking and writing landed me a job, an IT job, as a paid intern for one of the top U.S. defense contractors at the time. The starting pay was thirteen dollars. That's great. That is, that's good. You had benefits, medical and dental, as a fucking intern. Oh, we are so overpaying you, fucking government employees. And offered to pay for my school should I choose to continue. It also came with the secret government clear. Fucking a, dude. This is the dream. You did jack shit in high school, you flunked out of college, and you still landed. This is great. This is great. Great job, low stress, government workers are lazy as fuck. Your tax dollars are going to nothing, just saying, with flexible hours, tolerable co-workers. Part of me thinks I got this job because of affirmative action. Some of my friend, old friends have told this to me. Yeah, I think you did. I mean, there's no way to prove, but, but you know, come on, look at your track record. How the fuck did you land this? Um, I mean, you... you, you your self-taught skills, you must have natural skills, and they certainly kept you on, but let's let's not let's not beat around the bush here, okay? You, you probably did. But you know what? <clears throat> Doesn't matter. Shit, if I was black, I'd absolutely I'd be taking care of it for me. You take advantage of every motherfucking advantage you got. I know how to dance, I know how to talk to a girl, I know how to ride a motor. I mean, whatever skills God has given you or the government, what you take advantage, absolutely. So I wouldn't have any shame whatsoever. Just, you know, for your own personal self, if you want to achieve more, which I think, given your email, you do. That, that's all you got to do is answer to yourself. But if someone's like, hey, free money, free job. Oh, God, no, Jesus. Don't be a fucking idiot. Take it. Uh, because the company is mostly white, token minority or not, I don't care. Either way, I got the job. Fuck it. There you go. My supervisor is from the World War II generation. He was a grumpy, semi-prejudiced, hard-ass at first, but I eventually showed him I wasn't an idiot, could take orders. We eventually became good friends. Wonderful! I was young and lived at home at the time. I didn't take anything seriously, so I didn't go to school or move up in the government ladder for a few years and was content with my diversity intern status. During years, those years, I competed as an amateur kickboxer. I had been doing martial arts all my life. It was my dream to become a professional fighter until I saw how harsh the lifestyle is and how little reward there was for the lifelong sacrifice of a pro fighter. Yeah, it does seem pretty... Some guy so was like training 12 hours a day. I'm like, fuck. Also, I taught myself foreign languages, Japanese and Korean as a second hobby along the way and really got good at it. After a few years of this, I ended up coaching kickboxing classes and tutoring English to Asian immigrants looking to settle America's side jobs. The money is nice for both and I can do them anytime I want. After having my fun at the age of 23, I started worrying about the future. Good Lord. I mean, look at you going the path of least, uh, uh, least traveled. 
Decided to take my career seriously. I bought a few books, studied, and got several technical certifications. This raised my status to full-time employee, my pay to $25 an hour, and got me some top-secret government clearance with better benefits. What does the top-secret government's clearance really do? I mean, it just helps you do your job, right? It's not like, well, I guess it helps with the chicks. I don't know. You're not supposed to tell them that, right? If I chose, I'd get my degree in IT or computer science. It would raise my pay to 70 to 80K annually, but with far more stress, negative attention, responsibility, and assholes. I'm content where I am right now. A couple of years ago, I moved out due to my parents splitting. Okay, so they did get to I'm, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm now renting a nice apartment alone and still doing the English lessons and kickboxing classes on the side. It was fortunate that I got those certifications and promotion before my parents, parents split. I've never wanted children, still don't, never had a serious girlfriend, but I'm a good talker. I bet you are a good talker. I bet. <laughs> I'd like to see you in action. Young looking and have above average handsomeness, so there is no problem attracting regular sexual partners. To my dismay, I've learned over the years that unfortunately women in my age group and younger are complete morons. No, you just found that out. And that sex without being someone's boyfriend is a great deal that men should take advantage of. I honestly have no idea why most men would give up regular sex to be tied down. My certain type or look seems to be in demand with this younger generation of women too, which is nice because I didn't have much female attention in high school or college, but now I'm being objective five. But I won't cry about it like a feminist. Just playing the cards I've been dealt. Yeah, what do you need my help for? What are you emailing? Oh, finally, he's just bragging, ladies. You see, the first five paragraphs was like, Hey, look at me. I'm, a, I'm Ronald. Look how awesome I am. Look at the size of my dick. Hey. And then, now maybe he's got a problem. Oh, I got a sliver. Do you recommend a silver uh, tweezers or just regular copper tweezers? What, what's your problem here? Anyway, I'm digressing. Self-aggrandizement aside, I feel like even though I fucked up a lot as a kid academically, I was born to a lower middle income family, I somehow got lucky in life. I don't know. You People don't self-teach themselves foreign languages and get certifications in IT. That, that was that. You, that's not luck. Uh, some of this was from my own hard work. Well, that's not luck then. But a lot of it was from being at the right place at the right time. Well, yeah, that's, that's everyone's got that. Or maybe even being the right color. That could have been. Huh? Not your. Were you born that way? Did you consult your parents before you were born saying, hey, you're Asian, I'm black, I'm going to have some concerns about affirmative action if I were to be born in this family? I didn't have any say. You didn't know one had any say in the color of their skin and their gender. It, 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 they don't. So forgive yourself. These are the rules you were born into. This is the society and the time in history you were born into. Yeah, it could be worse. You want to be born into slavery, period? You know, think about that. Uh, I look around at people my age and they're drowning in student loan debt, working in food service, multiple job, have kids, expensive marriages, divorce, etc. I'm obviously not a millionaire or born into money, but as of late I've been feeling guilty about the possibility of getting an easy ride in life. My friends and family remind me of this fact all the time. Um, they say I'm being selfish by not committing to a woman or having children. Hell, I even get shamed for having a house all to myself. Despite my accomplishments, my friends and relatives still consider me a man-child. They say I have enough and should give back to relatives. Fuck them! Fuck that! Fuck them! Fuck that! You send this for fuck them! Did they go to IT school? Did they go on a train? Did they self-teach themselves later? Fuck them! I hate... I hate family members that do this because it shows where their true love is. It isn't with... They don't love you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be direct. They don't love you. They may not love you, but they don't love you as much as they love themselves. And and they love themselves so much more than they love you, or they don't love you that much, or they just kind of like you, that they, they view you as a slave, that they have no problem taking your money that you work for. You weren't lucky, okay? If there was, if there was any luck, it was that... It came in two things that, once again, you did not control. One, that maybe there was affirmative action. Maybe. But two, why I don't think it's so much affirmative. Because let's say you were affirmative action hire, and you're, you're, that's your only quality and trait. And you're this loudmouth douche. They would have fired you. They kept you around. You got the respect and, and, and the liking of this World War II boss you have. That doesn't come fucking easy. So you did earn it. There's your skills, your, your qualities, your characteristics and traits, self-taught or born with. Now, I'm not talking your race. I'm talking like you have, you have the same this ability to write and be more intelligent. You just don't have the patience for bullshit. That's you, man. And you own 100% you own of the proceeds and the benefits and the profits of that. Right? Um, so don't, don't feel guilty, all right? You know, there's, there's, you should not feel guilty. It's hard for me to say not feel I feel guilty at times, too. Like... 
How the fuck did I end up here? Then I look back at all the fucking shit I went. I'm like, fuck, I deserve that. I deserve three times this motherfucking amount. You deserve that. You're making... You're not like a millionaire, as you pointed out. But you didn't fuck up. You didn't have kids you couldn't afford. You didn't get married. You didn't get divorced. You didn't have expensive weight. You didn't get uh, uh, cars you can't afford. You didn't fuck up. This is the benefits of not fucking up. I got a chapter in the Black Man's Guide Out of Poverty. Um... One of the segments is just don't fuck up. It's also in Bachelor Pad Economics, but it's such a vital lesson. And you didn't fuck up. So why the fuck you got to bail out people that fucked up? No, 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 no. And if your family, if your family is that petty that they're going to start saying, you got to bring it back to the family. Like you see these, um, these professional football players, basketball players, whatever. They get selected in the draft, and then the entire community, typically black, but not always. I've just never heard any other instance. They expect this guy to like start sending money, and the mom's supposed to take care of the, the neighborhood. Bull fucking shit. That guy went out there, slaved his ass away as a professional athlete, got hit to play. I mean, there's a dedication, almost 20 years, and he did all the work. He did all the work. He doesn't owe that community jack fucking shit. He might owe his parents something that they stuck together. He might owe his coach something. He might owe like a teacher or a mentor, someone who inspired him. That's it. Your your family. Fuck them. I mean, I know that your family. It's hard. And this is where your biological Darwinistic tribalism, tribalism, where you you had to stick together with your tribe, your family, in order to survive. That's where that compunction and that psychological preference to love your family no matter what, even if they treat you shitty, uh, comes in. But that's obsolete. We don't need tribes anymore. You can go be your own man. You can find your own tribe. You can find your own friends. You can start your own family. And so I just really get pissed off when you see these goddamn parasites cowardly hide behind the fact that you're their blood. Or they're your blood. And well, you should get back to your fish. But blood is thicker than water. They pull that bullshit on you? Fuck that. Fuck them. Anyway... I'm sorry, I'm pissed. I am pissed. That is, that's bullshit, man. What you, they're literally asking, well, you didn't fuck up, so be our slave. Bail us out. It's like the government bailing out the bankers. That's really what it is. If you hate, if you hate bankster scum, your, your family's acting like it right now. To be honest, to be blunt. Not that you were expecting anything different. Uh, they have been selfish, not committing to a woman or having children. They, they, those people are just crabs in a bucket. Look it up. Pe people, like, you should see the vitriolic response I get when I, I, I have two videos out called the No, Child, no Children Manifesto and No Children Manifesto Part 2. And the hate mail I got on that because I'm greedy and I'm... No, I just don't want to have fucking kids. I want to have my money for myself and eat good food and, and, and not die dreaming maybe I could make it to... Could we visit Chicago sometime? No. I want to travel the fucking world. And I have. And it's been a great life. It's been better than average life. You should do the same. I'll halt myself. Despite my accomplishments, friends would call me a man child. Yeah, they're jealous. You get to play video games. You're living the dream, man. You're living. This is what our forefathers fought for. Okay? This is what they fought for. This is what the Revolutionary War was all about. This is why America was great. It's because of what you're the, the dream. You're going to live the dream. And no life is perfect because everyone's going to have sour grapes and, and be gel. They're going to be totally gel. But motherfucker, you owe it to yourself to live the goddamn dream. Okay? Do not. Do not not live the... Do not anchor yourself down with these people. They say I have enough. Get back to relatives less fortunate. It is my place to give back to the people in less fortunate positions like you do with your YouTube channel. No, I don't, I don't give back to people in unfortunate positions. I charge them, as you are duly notedly aware. I don't do charity. Unlike every other person out there, however, I will tell you this. I tell the truth on this channel. All right? And that is infinitely kinder, it's not charity, but it is kinder and it is an infinitely superior product than people that charge and lie or people who don't charge but lie anyway. Because you misinform and mislead these people and they make decisions that aren't based in reality and they fuck up their lives. Now, I can't guarantee that my, my recommendations won't fuck up your life or won't cost you something. But at least I give it a, a, a best effort, honest assessment and, and, and tell you what I view to be truth. But there's no charity here. I do not give back to the community. I do not donate to charity. I, I've not donated a fucking thing. I'll go to a Goodwill. Um, and I, I do kind of want to... Um, I, I, I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I never do it because I keep taking on stupid projects. Well, not stupid, but books and things. I do want to spend time with like Wounded Warriors or at least donate to them there. So, but those are like about it, man. And I also help out individual kids 
were people that are friends of mine that I know suffered bad luck. Not, oh, I had a kid that I couldn't afford, or, well, I just spread my legs, or, why well, I majored in stupid shit. I, I, but it's very rare. I, I think I give less than less than 100. If I, you know how when you run for president, they always say, well, let's look at it. How much did he give in tax deduction or tax donations? And they always like, oh, look, Romney only gave that much. They, they'd see me like he gave nothing. Yep, that's right, motherfuckers gave nothing because none of you motherfuckers deserve it. That's <laughs> So, yeah, uh, so let's be very clear. Yeah, I think you got to have a little bit of, it's not that you don't have self-respect, but you got to feel good about yourself and not let these these craps in the bucket keep you down. You did your right name. You, 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 or you did your, the right thing. You, you, you worked hard. Um, you maintained it. You self-taught, self-disciplined. Dude, you earned every penny. And, and as much as I like, it's hard. I, I can give advice like, don't feel guilty. I know it's hard just to not feel guilty. That's the hard part. If, if I figured it out, I would, <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could because I make life a lot easier. But it's, it's, you just can't change feelings. So try to, at least from my perspective, understand you absolutely earned it. You should have no guilt. That You don't owe them anything. And you might want to go find some friends. Start setting up another family. Um, because people like that, no. I don't care if they're your family. I don't care if they're blood. They're assholes. They're greedy little parasitic assholes. Oh, oh wait. Did I? Hang on. Just want to double check something. I think we got it. We're, we're good. Okay. Take a look at this. I'm going to save the video. If you want me to edit it, I don't think everyone's going to see it, though. I might have given away your name, but it was only first name. I don't give away full names. Anyway, best of luck to you, kid. Toodles.